guys, this is a Tech Gamer bringing you some gameplay on Battlefield 3. And today I'm here with my buddy, The Shop. And we're going to take a first look at the Xbox One and PS4 GPUs. So I researched the Xbox One GPU because I have a GPU just like the Xbox Ones. And I researched the PS4's GPU because I have a GPU that's similar to the PS4. So to the specs of the consoles, the Xbox One has an 8 core Jaguar CPU, 8 gigabytes of DDR3 memory, 256 bit bus about 70 gigabytes per second for system memory bandwidth and uh, 28 nm architecture the ps4 is similar to the xbox one however it has 8 gigabytes of gddr5 memory and 175 gigabytes of system memory bandwidth so what did we find out the xbox one's gpu is going to be reportedly very close to the amd radeon hd 7790 while the specs on the PS4 GPU are closer to the AMD Radeon 7870. In more numbers, the PS4 version has 18 CUs generating 1.84 teraflops of processing power, while the Xbox One has only 12 CUs, which in theory gives Sony's machine a 50% advantage in terms of raw performance if compared to the PC counterparts, which basically means the 7870 being better than the 7790. But the Xbox One claims to have cloud technology that can make the GPU better. This might be true with the AMD Sky Series graphics cards, which are specially designed for cloud gaming. This technology is new and it needs to be web enabled to be in use. This might be the sole reason the Xbox One is built into an always online type interface. The Radeon Sky Series needs an internet connection to work because it has to stream the games, hence cloud gaming. I'm going to quote AMD on this. Uh, with AMD's Radeon Sky Series graphics cards, Cloud gaming service providers can support up to six simultaneous HD game streams per GPU. So that means Microsoft is a cloud gaming service provider, and it can support, for example, six Xbox Ones simultaneously with HD game streams. This could potentially make the Xbox One's GPU as powerful as the PS4's, maybe even better. But the problem is, this isn't on the specific Xbox One's physical hardware. It's through an internet connection. So all in all... PS4 or Xbox One's GPU? You know, um, at this time, I'd prefer the PS4 because it offers a physical GPU that is more powerful overall. And it's more rel reliable since I would actually own the, what I paid for instead of Microsoft owning part of the console. So, like, what do you think, man? You know, I choose the PS4 over the Xbox. Like you said, it has a physical GPU, so no internet connection is required to be able to stream high-quality games. Yeah, so I guess we both think the PS4 has a better and more reliable GPU compared to the Xbox One. It has a physical GPU, better system memory for the GPU, a more powerful GPU, and that is the main reason. Of course, at this time, the consoles aren't even out yet, and this video provides a first look at the graphics card for each unit. I hope this video helped you guys out and answered some of your questions. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like, favorite, and share this video. And don't forget to subscribe. Tune in next time to see us open up an actual PlayStation 4.